Hi, this is Tim and Jenny. Welcome to Practically Humans. Today, we're going to talk about the five habits that helped us buy a house. Tim and I got married in our 20s, and since then, we haven't stopped saving for our future. As long as we're able to save each month, and our strict definition of saving is earning more than we spend for that month, then no matter what the amount is, we consider it as a win. However, there were months where we weren't able to save up nearly as much as we thought because of unexpected expenses. Mm -hmm. But we don't let that derail us from our savings goals. If we're not able to save one month, we put in an extra effort the following month to make sure that we make up for it. We find that even with a small income, as long as we're consistent with things, we can prevent any unnecessary expenses or emergencies from darting around a corner unexpectedly. And big expenses are going to come. It's just a part of life. But that doesn't mean we can't prepare for it. So what are the basic habits that we formed that helped us to save enough money to save 20% down payment for our house? Have one year's worth of expenses as an emergency fund? And have extra funds to invest in the stock market? The first thing we did was consistently live below our means. What that is, is you're fully aware of how much money is coming and going in your bank account or wherever it is you keep your money. And you approach life where you don't overspend on whatever it is you think you need. By living below our means consistently, it means that if for some reason we're in the red for three months out of the year, the other nine months will more than make up for it. As long as our basic needs are covered, we're in pretty good shape. We lived off of one income. We made a decision early on in our marriage that we're going to try to live off of one income as much as possible to avoid lifestyle creep. And even if we don't hit this goal each month, it still contributed a lot to our savings because we tried to live off the smaller income between us two. And this has been the biggest contributor to increasing our savings by far. We rarely, if at all, eat out at a restaurant or order takeout. Who doesn't enjoy a stranger bringing them food? It's why Romans became emperors in the first place. They, they have people bring them grapes and they feed them and that's kind of what going to a restaurant is like. And yeah, we do enjoy it sometimes, but you know, the cost of going to one restaurant, you could feed yourself, your family for multiple days by just buying food and cooking it yourself. It's just not practical to order takeout because you, you know you have the, the tips, the service charges. So one of the things we do is we really try to limit how much we eat out. We don't have cable. Paying cable is just not reasonable for us. Paying hundreds of dollars each month just to watch media, that to us, that's just ridiculous, especially with the number of streaming platforms available now. This may not be as big as a factor, but we also don't own a TV. We find it unnecessary to buy something when we can get the same use out of our phone, tablets, and laptops. We share streaming accounts with family members. Wherever we can, we try to share streaming services. We have a rule that we won't pay for more than one streaming service at a single time because there's only so much you can watch and if you're paying for six at a time, you're not gonna get, make the most of it. So our strategy is really to go month by month. If we want one streaming service one month, we'll pay for it, we'll binge on there. Um, not everyone has the same benefit of being able to share a streaming service with a family member. Some of us are just scarred because we found out a little too much personal information from their password. Punch me 49 is not a very good password, Dad. If you like this video and want to hear more, please click like and subscribe. Wait, 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 no, no, no. We have, we have six more habits that we implemented in our lives that helped us buy a house. So, so be sure to stay tuned for that.